So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the U1001 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Nissan U1001 code? Well, it's a CAN control network comm circuit. And what does this mean? Well, the CAN stands for controller area network. And it's basically just a protocol that allows all the different computer modules inside of the vehicle to talk to each other. And the computer's seeing a problem with this communication. And so it's going to be troubleshooting to know why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, there could be a problem inside the wiring, inside the communication harness that goes around between all the modules. There could be something going on inside there. There could be an open or short or something like this. There could be a faulty TCM or transmission control module, the engine control module, the ECM. It could also be bad or it could be having an issue. And there can also be a bad ground wire going around all the modules. These modules need a good ground wire or it could cause issues. So it could also be a bad ground wire. And so if you get this code, what would you go to check? Well, first thing, go check your battery cables. Be sure that there's no issues going on there. There's no corrosion or anything like this. Because if there's a problem with these getting power, then it can cause issues. So be sure all your battery cables are good. Check out your ground wire. Be sure that it's good. This ground wire will be bolted onto the engine block. So be sure that ground wire is good and that it's bolted on good. There's no issues there. Also check all your fuses and relays and things like this. Check to see if any of the fuses are blown or if any of the relays have gone bad. It can vary on which fuses to go check. So sometimes it's best just to check them all. But mainly look for anything that says like engine control system or engine control module or something along those lines. But basically a blown fuse or a bad relay can cause this problem. You can go around and try to check for an open or a short, although it can be kind of difficult sometimes. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about trying to find a short inside of these wiring harnesses. But you can also go through and check all of these. Another thing that you can check is check to see if the transmission got damaged or anything or anything came off the road and hit the bottom of it. Because on some Nissans, they put the transmission control module up behind the valve body inside the transmission and if anything came up and underneath and hit it, it can damage that or cause issues. So you can't check to see if any damage just came up and hit the transmission by any chance. It's going to vary on where these control modules are. For example, here's a 2010 Nissan Altima, the transmission control module is right in front of the battery. Here's another example of a 2005 Nissan Murano, and the transmission control module and the ECM is going to be located on the passenger side up behind the glove box. So it can vary on where these are located. But you can go check them out, see if you see anything physically wrong. Check out all the plugs, check the wiring, see if you can see any physical damage. Because if your battery terminals are good, there's no blowing fuses or no relays, then the next thing to go and look for is going to be an open or short and possibly a bad ECU or other control module like the TCM. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the U1001 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.